can fly a rainbow, you can sail the sun, you can visit every star and wish on everyone. Every road that you are traveling tells both you and me. You have to look inside so you can set your spirit free, set your spirit free, set your spirit free, set your spirit free. has spent over 30 years studying esoteric and metaphysical teachings. A Reiki and Karuna master with extensive experience in the area of auras, she currently works as an energy healer in the UK. She's here doing a series of workshops and we joined up with Jan to delve into the fascinating world of aura reading. Well, I was about four years old when I saw my first light being and um, I didn't know it was an angel, it didn't have wings, it was just pure light. Then I started to have out-of-body experiences or astral projection. And then when I was 17 I had a very bad accident, I was badly burned and it was a near-death experience. But it didn't seem the same as the normal astral projection that I was used to. And as I left the body I could see and feel all these angelic beings and they say we are a part of you and you are a part of us and then I moved back into the physical body I started to work with this energy and understand it a lot more and I decided I wanted to become a professional healer I'm here to raise awareness and to help to raise funds for a very wonderful project for my friend Anthea and it's called Angels Haven and it's, a, it's going to be a residential home for children born with HIV and abused children, children that are orphaned, you know, angels with broken wings, what a better cause. An aura is the electromagnetic field that emanates and permeates through every living thing and you can see past experiences where you are at this moment and what you can do to change your life I've got some colored cards here I just want you to hold them feel them and allow the vibration to move through you okay so. I don't love this one. It doesn't like you. <laughs> when a client comes for a reading, uh, the first thing that I will do is I will hand them colour cards. And then I pick up an idea where their, where their vibration is. And then I'll put them on the machine, I'll look at the aura as it comes up, and then I can immediately see certain things that are happening in their life. It's based on a biosensor, which is the same kind of principle as um, a lie detector, if you like, galvanistic skin response. So it's, it's working on pressure and heat um, and your emotional um, reactions or your emotional energies. I go into a different state of consciousness and the rest comes to me through psychic ability. And I can pick up where you are, what, what you need to do to change in your life. So I'm not only reading from the photograph of what I see, that's the scientific side of it, I go into the spiritual side of it and I allow energy to move to me, the angelic energies move through me. Although this is a, a reddish sort of colour, it's also got a lot of pink in it. It doesn't come out in the print, but I can see it and I can feel that. And this is healing energies that you are attracting to yourself. When you pass Reiki energy through someone's body, it literally changes the frequency and it changes the molecules in the body. Elizabeth was very stuck in this emotional center. So it's manifested into something in her. So I'm giving her a good zap of high energy so it passes through her and it will change the frequency. Therefore, it must show up 
on the aura photograph because a frequency is a color. That's amazing. It's your white flash right across your heart. And that's a clear indication of the Reiki energy that I've passed through to you. We've actually manifested it on the screen. The first aura reading that I had today um, actually showed that I was um, you know, carrying a lot of old stuff. And, um, and then I had this amazing Reiki healing. This card is a, an indication that your soul is on a magical journey and it's up to you to set it free. I think it's very important to know who you are and why you are here. You are a spiritual being temporarily residing in a physical form. So I think that you need to know your higher self and your higher self is actually your guardian angel. This is what you are, lovely healer. Using your psychic awareness, I think that really you have a tremendous amount of ability to connect to the angelic realm. Some people come to me just for an angel reading, but when I'm using the angel cards, it's a very personal, very spiritual message that I'm picking up from your guardian angel, who's telling me to give you a message. And you can call upon your higher self at any given moment. It's when you choose, when your soul awakens, that you understand that this is the journey that you're on. Things change from that moment. It's very important to know your guardian angel. <laughs>